My pillow is advertised as the most comfortable pillow you'll ever own. Does it really work? That's what I'm going to find out in this review of My Pillow. You've all seen the ads from My Pillow. Let's crack it open and see what's inside. Okay, so just pulling it out of the box, it feels like a somewhat soft pillow, a little bit lumpy. Um, not too bad of a smell. There's a very slight smell to it, not too bad. They say if you're a back sleeper to bunch it underneath your spine. If you're a slide sleeper, it'll automatically lock into your position. To wash it, it says use regular cycle, not delicate, and use half the amount of detergent. So tonight I'm gonna do my first test with my pillow and see how it goes. Well, I had my first night's sleep with my pillow, and here are my initial observations. Number one, it's lumpy. It's very lumpy. I don't know if you can see this or not, but the texture is very strange. It almost feels like there's like ping pong balls or hard cotton balls in there. It's, it's very unusual. I've never had a pillow with that kind of a lumpy texture to it. Can you see those lumps? It's very lumpy. Number two, it's kind of on the thick side. Now, some people like thick pillows. Some people like thin pillows. Let me show you the pillow that I usually sleep with. This is the one I usually sleep with, and this is the my pillow. As you can see, it's significantly thicker. That's not to say that I haven't used thicker pillows, but usually those are softer like down pillows. In this case, the my pillow doesn't really compress down as much to the thickness that I prefer, so in this case, my pillow is kind of too thick for me. As far as the softness goes, it's of medium softness. Um, it's not too hard, not too soft, which I guess some people like that. With a pillow this thick, I like it to be a little bit softer so my head kind of goes down further. Um, last night, I felt myself waking up several times because I was uncomfortable, sometimes because of those lumps. It's it's like this uneven lumpy texture that was kind of poking me in the face. I didn't like it, but I'm gonna keep trying. Sometimes you have to get used to something, so I'm gonna to continue to try it. My first impression, I'm looking forward to ending this review so I can go back to my thin, smooth pillow rather than this thick, lumpy one. But who knows, I might get used to it over time. To be fair, not everybody has the same issues with my pillow that I do. My wife, for example, doesn't mind the lumps and she actually likes the thickness, so she will probably be the one who uses it after this review is over. In addition, Consumer Reports last year, they had 18 staffers who all tried MyPillow. About half of them said it helped them. The other half said it either helped a little bit or not at all. But only one third of them said they would buy MyPillow again. So as you can see, the reviews are pretty mixed for it. Not everybody likes the same kind of pillow, so some people will like it and some people won't. I'm someone who doesn't really like the lumpiness and the thickness, but some people have no problem with that. So next up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash the my pillow and dry it because they say that that will actually help smooth out the lumps a little bit. So let's see how that works. The instruction state, if cold or warm water only, use the half recommended amount of detergent. Either do two pillows or one with towels. And then after that, you're going to tumble dry on high. All right, there's it. There we go. Okay, the my pillow is out of the dryer. Has no smell whatsoever, which I think is a good thing. It almost seems thicker out of the dryer. Is it just me or does it seem thicker to you? And it still feels lumpy. The one of the websites I found, I think it was my pillow New Zealand or something, said that washing it and drying it will make it feel less lumpy. It still feels lumpy. Um, I've seen some sites that tear these open, and it looks like there's chopped up foam inside of there, which is why it feels lumpy, but that's also why it is easier to change shape. If you have a pillow that's one single piece inside, over time it can change shape permanently, but when you've got this kind of chopped up foam interior, it's not going to do that because it just moves around as you adjust the pillow. So that's a good thing. My wife likes this pillow. She likes the thickness, she likes the softness, and she doesn't mind the lumps at all. So this is going to be her pillow and not my pillow. So there's the thickness of the pillow on the bed. So here's how soft it looks. I'm a side sleeper, so this is me sleeping on it like this. If you're on your back, I mean, it is supportive and soft, but it's just a thickness that I don't particularly like. It's not necessarily a bad pillow, but it's also not necessarily an extraordinary pillow. It's an average pillow with a not so average price. I'm trying to show you how soft it is and how it bounces back. And you can fluff it up pretty easily too because it, is, it does have chunks in there, but I mean, do you want a pillow that thick? Look how thick that is. That's thicker than my head. Look, I think my head is not even as thick as this pillow. 
I'd probably use it for reading a book, but I wouldn't use it for sleeping. It's just too thick for me. My wife, however, she likes it. She likes the thickness of this. And in fact, I let both of my kids try it. My son didn't like it so much because he said it was too thick and lumpy, but my daughter did like it because she said it was soft. So once again, it's going to go back to the individual user. But the problem for most people is that $50 for a standard queen or $60 for a king is pretty steep for a pillow that doesn't really uh, outperform regular pillows for about half that. I've seen other reviews state that you need to dry it before use. Well, my instructions didn't state that. That could be a different version or maybe they've updated it, but I have washed and dried it a couple of times and I've noticed no difference. If you go on the MyPillow website now, they offer other products such as a mattress, a pet bed, a topper, sheets, and they also offer multiple versions of MyPillow, like MyPillow Premium, which is color-coded. The one in the stores is MyPillow Classic, and that's the one that I got. If you go on the MyPillow website, surprisingly, it has a 4.95 star rating out of five stars. But if you go around the rest of the internet, on some of the major sites, it doesn't even get above four stars. Take, for example, Amazon, where it's 3.7. Bed Bath & Beyond, where it's 3.6. And Walmart, where it's 3.2. Hmm. In just the past year, MyPillow's had some pretty bad press. They had to settle a million dollar class action lawsuit based on false advertising without admitting guilt. And also the Better Business Bureau revoked their accreditation and dropped them to an F rating because of their buy one, get one free offer. Four of us here tried MyPillow, two of us liked it, two of us didn't. None of us thought it was better than a regular pillow you could buy for about $10 at Target or Walmart. I picked up the standard slash queen size, which was $50, at Bed Bath & Beyond with a 20% coupon, that dropped it down to $40. The king size is $60. To me, MyPillow is a $10 lumpy pillow with a $50 price tag. If you've used MyPillow, tell me what you think in the comments below. And please subscribe for more As Seen On TV product reviews from me, James White, with Freakin' Reviews.